The Friday night game, Blues versus Wands. Tell you what, like I said, if you've been living under a rock, everybody, Carlton has made finals, and you wouldn't even know the Swans have made it with everything that's been going on in Melbourne over the last week. The Blue, the Swans had a massive chance to get that home final, were beaten by the Deep in the last round of the season. Blues had a good win, and it's going to be all kicking off 7.50 p.m. at the Air Master J Friday night. Can't go to this game. Absolutely shattered. j Dog, I'm going to let you, being the home... No, you... You go first this next, time. Well, I've got the next couple of games. Oh, okay. I'll go first then. Yeah, I'll go the All next right. couple of games of the home team. So you go first, my friend. Ready, steady, go. All right. Blues, why they will win. You guys familiar with the with the movie The Mighty Ducks 2? In there there was a there was a stunning game shifting pairing that really altered them and gave them the chance to beat the Icelandic team. We're talking about the Bash brothers. Carlton's midfield will bash the shit out of Sydney's midfield. We're talking Crips. We're talking oh, Hollands. We're talking Acres. We're talking Pitnet will smash in. Oh, it's going to be so bad. <laughs> Doherty, Hewitt, McKay, the four. Oh, it's, just, it's all there. We know Carlton's football. We have spoken about Carlton's brand. They are a brutal bash team. They've got a forward structure that most teams would absolutely cream their jeans to have. De Koning, Kerno, Mackay, Martin, Cottrell. Where does it stop for this team? And they have a huge ability, and this is my only stat that I'm bringing tonight because I don't like to do stats, but they have a huge ability to win the ball back. I think they're number one. I think they're number one in the team in the AFL for that too. The ability for them to actually stop the other team from getting a run on and get that ball back and win it, they are the best at it because they will bash you up. Why they would lose though, and this is my – this, and hand on heart, I don't see Carlton losing this game against Sydney. But why they will lose, it's the ability for Sydney to absorb – forward repeats. I don't know how they do it. It's just like it's just like a like an old damn wall that's been there for 170 years and just will not burst. The way that they can absorb forward 50 attacks is unbelievable. I don't get it. I also think that Sydney have a raft of really really um, crafty young players. You know, we've got um, Heaney who's no longer young is getting a bit on there, but Papley, you've got Lizard um, Chad Warner, like uh, Errol Goulden, like you've got a really strong, um, a really strong young list there. I think individually they can be quite brilliant, and I think that they also have the ability to, to turn the game. I think Heaney running around the forward line, if he gets loose, I think he can also kick four or five off his boot. We've seen him do that. We've seen Papley do the same thing in games this year. The one thing that Carlton concerns me with them actually winning this game is the experience. The first time finals experience in ten years. This team, they're, it's all new to them all. Sydney have been there before. They have done this. They have lived there. They were in the grand final just last year. Yes, they were overawed on that day, but they have been there before. Um, and that's the only thing with Carlton is, is like a young racehorse, will they get a bit sweated up in the, in, in the mounting yard before the game? Sydney won't. Sydney have been there. Um, my, big, my big one there, Goulden capped off in a fantastic year. AA jersey on the wing there, even though I think wings are dead. Um, I think he finished the 42 with disposal in the final game there, so he capped off a really good game. Um, the only way I can see Sydney maybe stopping Carlton is if they go and put Mills onto Cripps. That's the only way I can see it. Mills is an extre- extremely good lockdown uh, midfielder. Um, and if he goes to Cripps, you lock down Cripps, you lock down Carlton. That's the only key to see them doing this. But I don't see... Sydney getting up, and I think it's going to be Carlton by seven. Goals? Goals. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting, J-Dog. Well, let me jump onto the Swans here, Big Fuller. You mentioned the Mighty Ducks a little bit earlier, especially the Mighty Ducks 2. Don't know if you remember the Mighty Ducks 2, but at the start, they are a little bit cocky heading into the to the, uh, the World Cup or the Olympics, and they got smashed in their first game. I think the expectations of them actually taking the game out um, got to them a little bit. So also when it comes to finals, I've played many a final, and I know you've played a, a, a many, many a game on the triathlete bike. 
The one thing is, is that a lot of these games are played above the shoulders many, many times before the game gets out. Now, Sydney Swans played in a grand final last year. Been playing finals as long as I've been alive. They know what they need to do. Carlton have done nothing. They've done nothing for the last 10 years. And we honestly think that they are, they've been playing this game in their minds for the last two weeks. John Longmire, I've told you, you want to talk about, you want to talk about brand names, my friend, Victoria Knox. John Longmire is the Swiss army knife of the AFL coaches. Whenever he needs to pull out the knife, he pulls out the knife. But for some games, he'll pull out the scissors because that's what's needed. In this game, he's going to pull out the toothpick. He's going to do something that nobody has seen. We know Goulden on the wing is an absolute gun. I know that um, Lloyd and Rampy down back, yeah, they're getting old on the tooth, but they play smart. You've got a midfield of Heaney. Sorry, Heaney will be up forward. I apologize. When you got midfield, Parker, old head, he knows how to play foot, finals football. Papley knows how to play finals football. Mills knows how to play finals football. Arguably their best player last year in the grand final, Chad Warner, knows how to play finals football. They are not going to be overawed at all when it comes to this game as well. The thing also is, is that this team, the Swans, they are second in the league for tackles. I don't care if you're a contested ball team. You're playing against a team that loves it nasty. They had a pressure rating against in their last game against Melbourne of over 200 in that third quarter. Now, I thought Melbourne weren't playing too flash. Sydney, when they need to bring it, just like The Rock, he'd raise the eyebrow, stand back, flash the hand and say, just bring it, and they will bring it. Here's the other thing. I don't think Carlton can win it if Charlie Kerno does not fire. We've seen it happen before. I'm a massive believer of no Kerno, no Carlton. I'm sorry. I do not trust their small forwards. I don't. I think they will be overawed. I think this is going to be the upset of the weekend. I think everybody thinks this is going to be a shoo-in. The weather is going to be awful. It's going to be raining. Don't worry about clean football. Harry Mackay can't even kick a football if it was dry, let alone with a torrential rainfall coming down as well too. They're going to be stronger around the ball. They have the num. They are the number. What are they? The number one team for rebounds, I believe, in the league as well. They absorb. They absorb. They absorb, and then they go the other way, and they will do it. I don't know who's going to stop Pepley. Isaac Heaney, if he is on, good luck with that. And I just think that there's so much to like about Sydney. They are bred for this. They are the underdogs, and they don't care. My concern, though, is this. If Charlie Kerno does get off the leash, it could, I won't say it's going to get ugly, but it is going to make it harder because with no Paddy McCartan down there, it puts a lot of pressure back on the Tom McCartan and it could get a little bit dicey. So I have said that I'm going by the Swans. I'm going by the Swans by no more than two goals. But if this game went either way, I do not know. But I absolutely love this one. And I think this could be the game of the weekend, my friends. Okay. Yep. 18 seconds to go. Oh, um, why didn't we do this for the first 24 weeks? <laughs> okay. I didn't our reviews of games were this good. So, Peps, you're, you're saying Swans by two goals. I'm saying Carlton by seven. Yep. I reckon it's going to be an absolute corker. Cannot wait for it. It's going to be. I reckon it's going to be the game of the weekend. There, there is going to be an upset this weekend, and I think that's going to be it. It's, it's going to be an absolute. And I just can't wait for three AW afterwards. It's going to be a walk in the park for Carlton. It's going to be a walk in the park. All right. 